Is that a real trapdoor? This is so pretty. I can't believe the amount of stuff left in this place. Her baby died, I think it was um, caught, caught death. Oh, no yeah. way. And she killed herself inside the house immediately after. I think this might have been the mum's room. Hang on, this is, so this is the crib where this the baby passed the, away? This is the crib. She's asleep. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, no. I just got a chill up my oh, spine. Oh, no. I just got a chill no. up my spine doing that. That is so messed up. She's asleep and then there's the baby's crib. I really don't know what to make of that, guys. I. I don't like that. It was it was it was not nice to look at. What's up guys and welcome back to Katie Colson Explores and today we're in Norwich. All right, so you guys would have seen from my previous live stream that I said we were coming to Norwich for a little adventure week. And guess what? We're in freaking Norwich and I'm not alone because I'm here with Proving Demons, my gorgeous boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Say hi Munchkin. <laughs> So as you guys know, I always keep my promises and I told you we were gonna come here for a week and that's what we're doing. And I'm so excited to explore this place because apparently Andrew's saying there's some mint time capsules. So I don't know much about what we're going to see and what we're going to do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna basically hand you to Andrew. He'll explain it all in just a second. But before I do that, I just wanna swing you around this place because it's so adorable. Okay, so this is the living room and everything is Mint. Mint. Fucking mint. 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 This is mint. <laughs> this is mint. Everything is mint. You do realise this used to be one of my old catchphrases on the channel. When I'd find something, I'd be like, oh god guys, this is fucking mint. And I used to get so many comments about the mint stuff. Well, guess what? I've got tons of stuff for you to find that's mint. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh my god, I thought you were going to damage my camera then with a the zipper. There, you can have your, your cushion back. So we've got chilling demons. Yeah. We've got a TV. And then this is our garden. Oh my god, it's so cute. There's some sweet over there which I did have a little play on I'm, I'm not going to deny that I did have a little go <laughs> so we've got a gorgeous fireplace that is your dining room guys it's a very quick house tour obviously we've got what kind of looks like a party room what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck is the light doing okay I'm going to just turn the light off because it looks like a rave in here so we've got a little kitchen very cute and I have had quite a lot of bread because you know what's, what's it called again babe complimentary Complimentary. Complimentary butter and bread. So I did I did very much help myself to this one. We've got a little cute front door bit. You've got a mirror up there, very nice, good vibes. And then we've also got a bathroom. So the bathroom is absolutely huge. Um, as I say, guys, it's just B&B and it's literally insane. Um, I, I'm really shocked by the value of money of this place. And to top it off, we have a bedroom. That looks like shit because, <laughs> because I've thrown everything down because we got, we got in super late last night. And we've got the, there she is. I haven't done that in so freaking long. Okay, so that was like the mini tour of the B&B. I absolutely love it, it's so adorable. And now I'm gonna pass you over to Andrew and he's gonna explain what we're actually doing on this trip. Okay, Munchkin, it's your time to shine. <laughs> what are we actually doing in Norwich? Right, I've taken us up here because I have some time capsules, some mint time capsules that I actually <laughs> think you'd be interested in. The thing is, Obviously, we're gonna have to check a few and make sure they're still open. I haven't been to these in about two years. Oh shit, okay. So, before I start giving any history of anything, really, um, why don't we make sure that they're open first, which we really should be setting off in just a second. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Um, but if they are accessible, um, let's just say that this first one has a very, very, very tragic history, and I think it would be more appropriate to actually share that on, uh, on, on site. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's fine. And then the second one, well, they're gonna have to figure out on your second video if we get in. Okay, all right. Mm. So can I just confirm, is it two time capsules? Two time capsules we're hitting today. Oh my God, all right. Well, the day is young. Uh, we've actually got up really stupidly early. I'm, I'm quite surprised that we've managed to get our asses washed, dressed and up uh, at this time in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's an exploring day, so you gotta be up. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. But right, on that note, I think we should go out, go out there. Go and enjoy our nice, nice uh, table and chairs. Have a quick ziggy, and then, uh, and then shoot off. All right, let's do it. Right, it's adventure time, lads. Whoop whoop. Right, right. I, I want to show this neighborhood really oh, no. quickly. Can I just say, coming from Colorado. Yeah. This is what Colorado looked like. This is what I remember when I was it, a kid. It is literally huge. It looked like America. Yeah, look at all the spacing. Oh my god. Every house has like its own field <laughs> of it, kind it, of land. It's American style. What this is hell? what all houses in America basically are. If you live in like the upper middle class areas. Really? Yeah. Jesus Christ. No, real talk though, seriously, that is like a field in front of their house. Then you've got the actual house itself and property behind it. It's a field. You could, you could literally put oh. fo football pitches and yeah. play, play you know, professional games on them. Yeah, no, I've never seen a never seen a place like this to be honest. But um, right, should we jump in the car? Yeah, we got places to be. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's go. So, we're being really quiet right now because if yeah. you turn around and show them, 
We don't want to be seen by anybody in this area. Right, is that an active farm? Yes. Okay. So. This is it. Oh, wow. Right, we're being quiet because the farmers still own this land and they don't want us on Okay, well, we just I'll need tell to you, get in. I'll tell you about it. It looks amazing. God. Whoa. This is not safe, is it? Jesus. Right, so as Andrew's saying, we've got to be a little bit quiet until we get inside, inside, uh, inside the property. Before we go in, I'm going to tell you the history about this place, okay? First and foremost, this was an old farmhouse where a woman and her baby lived. Mm -hmm. She one day woke up to find out her baby died. I think it was um, cot, cot death. Oh, no yeah. way. Yeah, and she killed herself inside the house immediately after. Now, all oh, the, everything no. is still here in the house. So. Oh, that's so sad. I know, but now you know. Oh, that's not simple. Okay, yeah, that grid. Careful, careful, careful. Keep your head low, head low. You okay? Yeah. All right, I'll pass you the camera. Right, so we've literally just made it to property. I can be allowed again now because we're inside. Um, and obviously, Andrew is saying that the baby died um, from cot death, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's known as sid uh, sudden infant death syndrome. And it's basically where environmental stress and factors can unfortunately end a child's life. And it's most common in baby boys. Um, I only know this because I used to do a childcare level, I, I got a level three diploma in childcare. So obviously, I've studied this stuff. Um, which is very sad. So obviously a mother uh, losing her baby, you know, it, within the first six months of being born is absolutely heartbreaking. But right, I think we should get around this place before we get caught by the farmer. First and foremost, we got oh my God. the baby's high chair. Oh my God, that's beautiful. It's, this Look is, at it, is that like a crushed velvet? Yeah, it's, it's old school. This has been wow. abandoned probably about 75 years. 75 years? Mm. Wow. Okay. I'm loving the decor, like obviously this place deserves utmost respect, but in general I'm really loving the vibe to it. Yeah. It the floors are pretty bad, aren't they? Uh, just here, but the rest of the house is fine. Okay, that's fine. Oh, just making sure I don't go <laughs> for a panel. <laughs> wow, it's huge. Oh my god, look, it just goes, it just keeps going. Oh, you haven't even seen the upstairs yet. This is beautiful. What does it say? Return us to the soil. Oh, that's a bit dark. Yeah, I'll, I'll admit. This graffiti was here two years ago when I've been here. Was it really? Yeah, so it's been around a very long time. Do you think the people who did this graffiti knew about this property and the, and the history? I don't know. It's, it, by the looks of it, it was just kids, really. They, did, yeah. they drew a bunch of satanic stuff. Yeah, and I've just seen in the corridor, yeah. yeah. You can see, like, these. They're right out the 70s or 60s, oh, these wow. couches. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at the toilet as well, beside you. Yeah. Bedpan. Yeah, bedpan. Oh, wow. Now, yeah, what's that? Bags of straw. Why do you, what do you think they use that for? Oh. Why's, um, that, why's that in here? I don't know. I know back in the day you used to use it as insulation, but I'm looking up now and I can't see any of this property. So hmm. I don't know. Maybe it was for like farm, farm animals and stuff. Yeah, if anyone down below knows, let us know. Yeah, yeah. I'm loving these windows, babe. Look, there's windows inside yeah. the house. So inside. has that been extended then, do you think, over time? Do you think it's been like this room's of a development? No, no, because it's stained glass. Can you see the bits? Yeah, I can see the remnants there. of it. Yeah, unfortunately, it, it's been smashed out, obviously. I think it's typical old school barn decor it's really Not cute barn but farmhouse yeah decor. farmhouse yeah see this toilet's really interesting because it looks relatively modern um obviously back in the day you'd get the you'd literally get a pan with a handle so this is a bit more modernized i don't know if that was here when she lived here but in my opinion that might have been added over time because it looks a little bit too modern oh no way have you seen this the typhoon tea box Look, the old crates, what they used to do, which I used to absolutely love this, yeah. is they would use a fabric. So this this is a very, very delicate fabric and they would staple into it. So it wasn't like necessarily a cardboard box, but I think that's so lovely. You know, that was the old branding. Some of this stuff is really old, but even here, just what, what's look that? how classic that packaging is. Super chalks. Yeah, it, yeah. It's just classic packaging from from the period. It, it's amazing. But yeah. if you want to really step back in time, look at the appliances in the kitchen. That fridge, first <gasps> and foremost, and this oven, it's old oh, school as hell. I love the kettle. Look at that. Mm. Which is strange because it has an outlet. Look. Yeah. It's got a plug. So it's not a typical burn on the hob one, but it's still really nice. The little old basins. There's a jar. What's, what's in that jar? In front of you. Yeah. That looks really strange. Is that mold that's developed over the top of it over the years? Um, I'm not sure if that's mold or crystallization. Either way, it's crazy. I'm not actually too sure, but yeah, maybe it was like an old medicine bottle or something. Oh, look, 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 look. And even here, look at the boxing, look at the boxing, no way. Cat collars. I know. It's oh, it's so vintage. It's vintage, look here. 
1988, this newspaper is from. Wow. And it's still just and sat it's still here. still survived. It's like, still I always find this mad, like, sorry, mad even, how newspapers and paper survives that long. Look at the old Tesco's. So this was Tesco's in 1988. All right, so, <laughs> oh my God, a whole chicken for 49 pence. Jesus Christ. Times have changed. Salad cream, only time. 70p. What? And I bet you one thing, the wages probably haven't gone up that much since that time period. Yeah. yeah. Right, so looking further around the kitchen, you've got this really, really beautiful kind of quite bizarre carpet. Like, can you see the difference underneath the table? Like, they've, they've almost patched it. Yeah, that green was quite popular. In it's the really nice. And obviously you've got another little table. So with that knowledge, that would mean that this place, let me do the math. The 80s. Clearly it had been abandoned in the 80s. So mm -hmm. I've heard it was 75 years, but we'll figure this out ourselves. Yeah, it can't be 75 I mean, years. Uh, so 40, 40 to 50 years. Yeah, yeah. Probably about 40 years. Yeah. It's, well, it's just looking at stuff like this. Uh, is this a fridge? This is a bad boy fridge. Yeah. Yeah, this definitely wasn't over 75 years abandoned, but oh, it's look really how, pretty. Oh, look how old school that is. Yeah. This is a nice fridge. I know. Very, very, very expensive. Oh, there's a little uh, butterfly chilling in it. Yeah. <laughs> you can stay in there, mate. You're like my biggest fear, so please don't come out. Yep, yep. Go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> right, so before we actually move out of the dining room, I've noticed this pressed white shirt. So I wonder if she did at one point have a partner, because that's, that's definitely a male shirt, because the buttons are on that side. Mm. Did you know that, by the way? Did what? you know that? What? If the buttons are on the certain side, it's for women and men, it indicates it. Mm. No, so if the buttons are on the right, that means it's a male shirt. And if they're on the left, it means it's a female shirt. I only actually learned that uh, about a year ago. So I can only but assume this must have been a partner. Maybe he left, I, I, I don't know. Right, so are we, are we heading into a living room? Oh, this is or is it this, oh, it's the same room, yeah, okay. The okay. The oh yeah, bloody hell. Right, looking at it from this angle, that is, uh, that is velvet, isn't it? These sofas. Yeah, I don't want to touch it because oh, I might just test on it, but... Yeah, no, don't touch anything. So walking around this house, you're already getting a really, really good character for it. Um, obviously, like I say, guys, I know it's a terrible shame what happened in this house, obviously about 50 years ago, um, the sudden infant death syndrome. But in general, the style is so amazing. It's got this really old vintage vibe that you don't tend to find these days abandoned buildings because most of what I do, it is obviously a mixture between modern vintage, but this is the absolute prime of vintage. Uh, okay, I know we, were, we just came in through this way, but we didn't even talk about this. Mm. How about vintage, first off? This TV. Mm. <laughs> This, Phillips. This, oh, no this is the type of TV I grew up with when, in 1990, when I was two years old, I remember watching TV off of yeah. one of these, okay? So this 100% was abandoned in the late 80s. I can yeah. tell that now. No, I agree. And look at the bicycle. I was just about to say, the bike is insane. Do you think it still works? These things must be indestructible. Oh, look here, come here, before I try it. Huh, what? Come here, before I try it. As a mile per hour, or a mile counter of how oh, long my God. you've for. Hang on, is that the date and time in it as well, in that little bit, or? No, I don't know what that is. Maybe oh, it's it still counter. works. The oh, shit. Yeah, the gauge is going up too on the thing. Do you know, I don't get why museums don't just bloody come and get these bits. I know, right? This is like historical. Do you realise how special and unique something like that is? And it's just been left here to rot. This is essentially... Fucking hell. This essentially is a museum. If I know, I know, but you'd actually think like real, you know, London museums and stuff, I don't know, yeah, but would come and get why, this stuff. This is why I prefer exploring over museums, because you yeah. know very well, this is actually stepping into that time period, and maybe oh, not of course. around the edges. So what I like about this is you're stepping into someone's life. Obviously a museum, oh, yeah. you are stepping into parts of it, but this, the lady who lived here walked these corridors, and this is all of her stuff. Even her phone. The phone is still left behind, it's absolutely wild. And you've got, um, what's it called again? Stain, stained glass? No, stained glass, yeah. Yeah, stained glass. Yeah. It's a shame that it's just been smashed. Oh my God, this place is actually huge. Jesus, is that a pantry? That would be a, a There's the old pantry. medicines. Look up on there. Yeah. Obviously, I don't, I don't really want to go in there because I'm going to start smashing and crashing everything, but you've got the old bottles, foods. Oh, it's so cool. Why don't we head upstairs now to the baby's room? Oh, no way. Yeah. How and what? The baby's room. The baby's room left as it was? Yeah. Oh no. Okay, so you gotta remember guys, I've not been here before and I don't know anything about this property. It's thanks to Andrew I'm here. I've only been here. I didn't oh know the baby's room was still stocked. Oh my god. Is it god. still there? No, look here. This ain't the baby's room. This is the first room we're gonna look at. <gasps> oh my god. Look at that pink footstool. That stool. stool. <laughs> it's fuzzy. What the fuck? I can't believe it's all left behind. I know, and you know... They so don't... it says help me on the cupboard. I know, a bunch of kids did some yeah, yeah. things. But yeah. I will say, 
You don't get wardrobes like this anymore. No, no, you really don't. I wish they made them like this. I would prefer. But they're more things. durable. Like honestly, this older yeah. stuff is way better than what we've got these days. Well, and guess thing. what? You know these curtains. Yep. What does that remind you of? That '70s show. No, it's an abandoned house we've been to. Uh, Come on, we were speaking about it for hours. God, there's so many. Uh, <laughs> grandpa's house. No, taxidermy yeah. house. The taxidermy house. Do you remember yeah, the yeah. kitchen? It's oh, the exact yeah, yeah, yeah. same print as those curtains and the same colour as that, that windowsill. And I think that place was abandoned in the 70s. Mm. So this might be more of a 70s than an 80s then. Well, I'm, I'm guessing 80s because of the newspaper. Yeah. That's a very strange cupboard. I know. It's that is a, very, very odd, isn't it? Just a coat hanger. It's very, very thin. Um, okay. Oh, look at the hoover! Oh, uh, yeah. What right, on earth? Right in front of us. This one's made in Britain with a big old bulldog. Oh show, my god! For the American That's show. That's crazy! This is a Hoover and it says, This one's made in Britain. I don't think I've ever seen a British product. I'm not even joking. I'm, I'm so used to seeing China. I don't think I've ever seen a British made I know. label. <laughs> wow! It's incredible. This is amazing. Oh, it's so nice. It's really, really, really nice. God, even this dresser, real talk, that is just out of this world. Oh, and look at the light. Situated perfectly above it. Oh, yeah. Actually, if you look at the whole room, that is the only light in this room. It's so weird how it's just pushed aside. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like not it's, in the middle, is it? It's so, designed to be a dressing room. Yeah. How weird. Oh, it's an ensuite. It's an ensuite bathroom. Or, no, wait, it connects. It connects. Okay. Something. That's kind of strange. Oh, there's the farm. That's the farm we don't want to yeah, get caught with. I hope they don't catch us. Yeah, no, look at that lovely blue colour. Just I've seen like, this. Yeah, this, no, is, this is definitely 70s. The blue colour. I'm not just, even just joking. Like in, um, sorry, sorry, I'm interrupting you, but the blue colour, just like in uh, the Cabin in the Woods video. Oh, it was that place. I was trying to think yeah, about it then. It was the same, Alary's it was house. The same, Alary's house. It was the same style as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. But no, looking at all these products, I'm telling you now, I'm almost adamant this is 70s. I'm almost adamant. Uh, get down, car. Oh. Get down. I'm not looking to see you. Okay, they're gone. Okay. Come okay. on, stay away from the windows. Okay. Yeah, look, look at all those products. Oh my God, and the bath, it's amazing. I need to get out of this room because I don't, I don't want to get caught. Okay, so a car has just gone past. So I was uh, looking in the bathroom, so we've got to be really careful because I'm not joking, if farmer catches us, he will lose his, lose his rag. Look at this. Wow. This is probably the crib where they found the baby laid gone. Oh my God. Hang on, this is, so this is the crib where this the baby passed the, away? This is the crib. Oh, that's so sad. I know. And you know, it's such a shame because it's such a beautiful crib and I, you know, it's now it's now lifeless. I know. And looking at, at this room, just all the books, clothing. the clothing. So many memories in this room and it's just literally been completely forgotten in time. This is what happens. Oh, and yet again, you've got one of those dressers. Not a dress, sorry, wardrobe. But yes, you do have an additional dresser to the side. It's not as big as the other one, but it's still an absolute vibe. So looking around this, guys, I can see a lot of women's stuff. So obviously you've got her boots there, a lot of women-based books. I've had a little flick through in that jump cut. Beautiful fireplace. Um, and I can't see anything male-led other than that shirt that was downstairs. So yeah, I think she might have just lived a lonesome life. And uh, sadly, as you guys know, she, she took her own life once she found that her baby had passed away in this crib. Anyone should know by now that a woman who's given birth to a child um, that is their main responsibility, their life responsibility from of that course. point on is to raise this child, to lose a child like that. I honestly, I, I hate the idea that she couldn't survive the thought of living without her. Yeah. But in the same breath, I kind of understand. It's like, it's like having your, your purpose being ripped from you. It is, right? yeah. I couldn't imagine. It's a piece that. of your soul. And the sad thing is, is I'm adamant this was a baby boy who died here because the cot is blue. And also, like I told you, statistically, it is more common in, in baby boys to die of a sudden um, infant, death infant death syndrome. syndrome yeah. yeah, so I think this was a little baby boy and she probably had her bed, obviously you can see her bed there, but there was probably a base here at one time. They probably shared a room and just knowing that she's gone and the baby is it's so sad. I think the hardest part of cot death for people, for women, is they blame themselves, but it is environmental factors. It can be anything from stress on a baby. It could be simple as breathing issues if it's a premature child that women blame themselves and it's not their fault. Um, even funnily enough, NHS actually teach people that if you smoke during your pregnancy, that if your baby dies of a sudden infant death syndrome, they try and blame the mother. And I'm, I think that's so sad because, you know, I know you shouldn't smoke throughout pregnancy. I completely understand that, but it's one of these things where 
it is environmental and it does happen to, I believe it's every 200 babies in the UK every year die from it and that's under the age of six months old. So if you are one of those who have suffered from that, don't ever blame yourself, okay? It was never on you. It's just one of these things that sadly happen in this world. Right, so what's this room? Oh, oh I'm wow. not entirely <gasps> sure, but have you looked at the freaking oh my God. wallpaper? That it is incredible. It's trippy as hell. It that, is. If I actually twist my light, obviously, I don't know if they can see it on camera, but my eyes are actually going with it. It's like it, an optical illusion. It's psychedelic. It's wow. definitely psychedelic. And look at this, babe. Nature is reclaiming yeah, it. Nature's come through the window. and One wants, crack oh. in the window and all of this hedge is now growing through. Yeah, and vine. Through. It's amazing. You know, if you think about it then, give this place another 100, 200 years, it wouldn't even be recognizable. No, you no, it's going to be reclaimed. You wouldn't even be able to walk into it. It would be completely taken over by nature. No, I agree. So I one agree. day, a place like this will never be accessible again. Yeah. Obviously, this place looks okay, but you've got a lot of uh, wallpaper peeling. And to be honest, the structure is, is quite bad, isn't it? There is no way they can ever save this property. But no, it's done for. Them. Yeah. It's, it's really sad, actually, that it's, it, that's probably a, this place gone. And I wouldn't even say five years, it'll probably be to the ground. Look at these little switches. Yeah, How beautiful switches. are they? Oh wow! Be careful, I bet you that's lead paint. <laughs> lead paint? It's toxic. My hands are clean, it's fine, it's fine. As long as you don't lick it, you'll be I'm right. not gonna lick the switch. <laughs> um, okay, that's new. Shh, she's asleep. She's asleep. Oh, that's creepy. Do we dare go in there? Uh... uh well, if you're saying it's just kids doing graffiti, then I guess why not? I'm just now freaked out. What do you think's in here, though? I don't know. The what? mum's room, maybe? This is... Oh no. I just got a chill up my oh, spine. Oh no. I just got a chill no. up my spine doing that. No, no. After you. I don't even know how to feel about that. I hate that. No. She's asleep. That's so messed up. She's asleep and then there's the baby's crib. With a flower. It's, that's a memorial flower. Hang on. They, no, 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 no. No, that actually is. That actually is. They go on graves. That's why they're synthetic and they're tiny because you're supposed to be able to put them Oh god, there's spiders everywhere. Oh my goodness. What if the baby died in here instead? Because it would have been a six it would have been under six months as child. I don't know, but a small pink room with a crib. And there's a rope in here. That's really strange. Do I dare look behind the door? No, there's just loads of nails in the door. One That's really touched my heart. I know. One room you're not going in is that one. Why? Look at the ceiling. Oh no, 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 that's it's, ready, that's it's ready, to, ready nah. to collapse. In that's gonna fall. Yeah, like I told you, this place is very, very structurally incorrect. Obviously it's the most emptiest room, so I'm, I'm, I'm okay with not going in there. But what I find weird is look at the window there, and then you jump this side, and it's the same window, but for some reason they've built this really weird divider. Like, you wouldn't put a baby in a bedroom that big. So why was it done like that? So what is this room supposed What's to be? What's its purpose? See, the thing is, we don't actually know what room she killed herself in. I know, I know. And I, for some reason, have a weird... When I opened that door, I got a cold chill. Yeah. I, for some reason, feel like this might have been the room. Right, so I'm just leaving the room where the, the closet with the, the one singular pram... Sorry, the, the cot was in. Um, I really don't know what to make of that, guys. I, I don't like that. It was, it, was, it was not nice to look at. This is the last bedroom, but is that a trap door I see over there? A trap door? A trap door. I've never been Please be place. careful on these floors, Andrew. They're really bad. Oh my god. Oh. Shit. It's a trap door that goes down. Oh god. Oh my god. Is that a real trap door? It's a trap door. That's insane. I've never seen one of those in real life. Mm, oh my weird. god. Yeah, I'm not liking this room. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we should leave this room, but all I will say is I think this might have been the mum's room, funny enough. I've got, a, I've got a feeling it's a master bedroom, isn't it? So surely you'd want the master for yourself and it looks like someone's been uh, doing some naughty bits up here. All the parts it suggest that maybe this was a grow at one point. But yeah, th this place is completely trash, unfortunately. It's so sad. Right, I think we should leave this place anyway. I think we're pretty much done, aren't we? So obviously we did that room. That was the weird kind of trippy room. And then you've got the really, really sad little room at the end, which I still can't work out, guys. I don't know. I know this is really messed up. I wonder if that was a room for when the baby cried, they closed them in there so that they didn't have to listen. I know it sounds really messed up, but I think that might be sort of a uh, sadly accurate. Mm. Because why would you have two cribs? You've got one in her main room, which was obviously in here. There we are, it's just down there. But then you've also got a room all the way down there to keep the baby quiet. So I wondered when it cried, if she put it in there. 
I don't know. Well, that's a plan, because next time you cry around me, I'm going to shove you in a room and shut the door till you calm down. Oh, God. <laughs> Dark oh, jokes. Come on, we've over Yeah, I was going to say, we need to get out of here. But yeah, no, like I said, it's not me saying that she's not a loving mother. I'm sure she was, because obviously, darling, she killed herself for her baby. So I, oh, I'm not doubting her love for that child. Yeah. But I am also saying, I think that was probably, not like a punishment room, but maybe where she kept the child when it was just being a, a little bit too noisy for her. I, I don't know. What's that? Last room. What, is there some more rooms? There's another room in here. There's some interesting stuff in here. Oh, hang on, I thought we'd finish Explore. I thought so too. Oh, wow, okay. Jesus Christ. I can't believe the amount of stuff left in this place. Yeah. Look at the way, oh wow, look at the toy. Look, it's, it's a, little, a cuddly toy. It's like a rabbit or a mouse or something. Oh <laughs> wow, this is so pretty. I remember last time I was here, there was a model. Oh. A very cool model. What of? Of a, a, of a service station, a gas station, like made out of cardboard. It's oh not, really? It's not here anymore, it's like someone stole it. it. I don't know, maybe it's under that chest freezer or something, or someone might have trashed it, darling. It's been years since you've been here. Someone may have trashed it. It's yeah. Been, it's been too solid. I'm loving the little toy up there, it's in a little toy cart. Yeah. Look at the windows as well. It's like the big, like, old style shutters. Yeah. Wow. So I think that really was the last room, and then you've got this tiny, like, little pantry or kitchen in there. Yeah, and it was just like a little cupboard, I think, for a. No, it's not a kitchen, it's just probably like supplies and stuff. It's amazing. Okay, so it is officially time to leave. We have done the whole place. That was every room. Um, and as I say, it's a very, very sad story of what happened here, but it's also incredible how it's still slightly preserved to when obviously she lived here. Um, but if you guys do come here and you do find the pin, please just respect it, okay? Because it's a very sad story. And as Andrew's saying that he thinks this place is super haunted. He, he's actually ghost hunted this before um, and the woman came through. So obviously just out of respect, just, just try and look after it and don't do what these people did with all this graffiti. You never know, I might ghost hunt it again. Really? Maybe. I think it'd be interesting to see from my own eyes. Yeah. God, right, go. it, it's just remarkable in it. Like even the bed, I've, I'm, I'm seeing so many things I've missed. Like there's a little game here, there's a camcorder. What the hell? And then obviously the bed with the old springs and stuff. All right, yeah, we should probably probably make our way out. I literally do not want to get one of those in the eye. No, nope, just <laughs> carefully get a leg over. Okay, your car. Yeah, just come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That is not attached. Okay. You almost could have made that fall. Here, take that. Sorry. I just heard a vehicle pull up, so I don't know if they're coming for us or not. Shit. Yeah, no, it wasn't It wasn't on the driveway. I've heard it pull up over around the corner, so I hope it's not someone here for us. Alrighty, guys. I'm so sorry that was such an abrupt jump cut towards the end, but we did actually end up getting caught by the farmer. So, as we leave the property, and obviously I pointed out to you guys, I could hear somebody just around the corner of like the driveway. I was right, and it was a man in a blue t-shirt who I thought was a dog walker. And then the more we started walking towards him and the dog, I realized, oh shit, this guy looks super angry. The reason this guy was so angry is because he was the farmer and that was part of his property. Right, so basically what happened, I didn't film it, because by that point I turned my camera off thinking that like, literally nothing was gonna happen. But what happened was the dog came up to us and he started screaming at the dog. So the dog then ran back to him and then he started screaming at us saying, have you got permission? Have you been in there? Like you didn't, uh, well, basically asking us why we're there, what we're doing and why we didn't didn't seek permission to go into this property. So I think the reason why this guy was so pissed off, to be completely honest with you guys, he probably gets this constantly every single day of explorers going up to that property. Right, so a little bit of advice to you guys. Obviously, I've just seen it firsthand now what this guy is actually like. Um, I'm not saying he's a bad person, but the way he spoke to Andrew and I was completely, it was a uh, very dramatic and very, very argumentative, shall I put it that way. Um, a little bit of advice, if you guys do decide to go there and you do have the pin, I would just be very careful. Um, and personally, I would just go and knock his door and ask him for permission. So you've got the house, obviously abandoned one here, and his property is literally right beside it. Like I say, I can't guarantee if you ask permission, he's just gonna let you in there, but I think that's why he was so pissed off at us because we didn't seek permission and we just went for it. Okay, so that is basically a viewer discretion advice or a bit of advice, whatever the hell you wanna call it. Um, that's just my advice to you guys. Maybe ask, because I think that's why he was just so cross at the situation. But as I say, if you do ask, I can't, I can't guarantee that you'd be denied or allowed access. On that note, that was the baby's house. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe. All links down below, so please go and check them out. And if you haven't already, tick on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and I'll catch you shortly. Bye.